living in the information age and that's causing information overload. The times we're living where there's lots of social conflict and different opinions, that's not necessarily helping us reach a greater sense of understanding. If we want to change, if we want to make a difference, we need to shift people's perspective. We need a new type of storytelling. The objective is storytelling that puts the participant at the center of the emotional experience. That's why I created Riot. I was watching Ferguson on social media and I was really upset with what I was seeing. Another young black man in America murdered by the police. Only when there was some rioting did it become news. How they're being represented in the media is not empathetic thinking, you know, there's more to this story and there's more to how this is being represented. And I felt that if I could put people in the middle of a riot by interacting with characters from police to anarchists to protesters to looters, we can have a sense of understanding of the situation. Why are you arresting her? Why are you arresting her? Step back! Riot is an emotionally responsive film. It uses artificial intelligence, machine learning, live action, and facial recognition, and the objective is to get out the riot alive. Back away, I will arrest you next! Yo, I've been looking all over for you, man. Let's get out of here, it's not your fight, come. Riot uses neurogaming. That creates new neuron pathways, whereas people's brains cannot tell the difference between what has really happened and immersive, interactive experience where you're in the middle of it. So I fuse technology and storytelling because in the times that we're living, I feel that viewers don't want to be just observers. So if you don't use technology, you are not allowing yourself to access a lot of young people in a language which they are excited about. Riot monitors three emotions, calm, anger, and fear. The webcam will be watching you as you are watching the film and determine the average of your emotions. Your eye tracking will determine your attention and your interest. And in that way, the narrative will respond and follow a character that you're interested in. So you are watching, in essence, a bespoke film that reflects your reality. There's a famous quote that says, everything you want is on the other side of fear. I'm very much inspired and influenced by parkour and my um, experience of moving through fear personally. Moving through fear is a very active emotion. Like, yeah, I have no fear. I understand where I'm coming from. I know who you are. I know who I am. Then what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And how can we work together or not work together? Parkour affords you the skill set to be able to navigate through risk. It's moving from that position of not being fearful, which is what I am integrating into my work. So when I came up with this, with this idea, well, I felt it was quite controversial. I didn't realize, though, how much the world was going to change. Trump coming into America, Brexit, how this division was really opening up lots of conflicts. But now the climate's changed. People are starting to wake up in a sense and say, what tools have we have? We've got music, we've got film, we've got stories. So the final riot iteration is going to be a 360 environment where you can be playing the experience with several people. It's epic, it's cinematic, it's scaled, where you're using technology to help you reach your full potential as a human being, but through entertainment. If you want to change the world, you have to start by changing yourself and taking control of your own life before you're looking at other people. Once you've got a sense of understanding of who you are, then you can engage in a dialogue. This intention that I have is that Riot will herald in a conscious form of filmmaking, create insight, understanding, shift people's perspective. And I think that's where you can make a difference. Mm -hmm.